Hi guys, it's me again with another 100% video and it's going to be just another platinum video, nothing special, nothing crazy, just prepare. Oh no, he's approaching. I still got it. You wretch. You're finished. Ashes to ashes. Pointless. How oh, boring. It's past your bedtime. <laughs> Shall we begin? So to give some context, I've been greasing this game for like 70 oh hours God. and was basically one trophy away from platinuming the game when a sudden thought hit me. Hey, I should probably make a video on this game. But here's the thing, platinum in this game is so easy. You just have to beat the game two extra times and that is not really exciting in any way. But then I came up with the virtual challenge and I know what you're saying. Best, what the what the fuck is Virgil Challenge? What are you talking about? You're just going to run around spamming Moonveil and yell scum on people. Well, first of all, yes. Second of all, yeah. The rules of the challenge are very simple. Every single boss with Remembrance have to be fought and killed using only Yamato, Beowulf, Mirage Edge or Mirage Blades, with only three exceptions. Godric we have to kill with our training wheels Yamato. Killing Rykard is impossible because he's locked behind a specific weapon which means he's not our target. And Electro Dragon number 12087 is also out of the question because you are required to be touched by a woman to fight him which is unacceptable. Would you allow me to hold you? Pathetic. All summons and ashes are forbidden because Virgil always works alone, with a slight exception towards the end of the game. Changing gear is also forbidden. All spells, incantations and items that Virgil did not use canonically are forbidden as well. For example, Mox Shackle is prohibited. Flasks and physique potions as well as the horse and talismans are okay. With all of that said, let's go. Starting off, we're not really Virgil right now. We're not even V. We are fucking DMC Reboot Virgil. Lady. So to quickly fix this problem of us being powerless, we have to go and get ourselves our gear. To do that, we have to quickly force ourselves to Stormvale Castle, as it quite literally holds us from acquiring our devil arms. But here's the problem. I don't remember how to get there. I guess I can ask around a bit. Go! Straight and turn right. Go, 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 go your way. Believe yourself. This guy did not know at all who he was messing with. Called us tarnished for some reason when we clearly are a son of a legendary Dark Knight. Whee! And he died quite quickly, I must say. Ah, yes, thou art of passing skill. A warrior blood must truly run through thy veins, as well as a handful of SCDs apparently. We make some friends with a guy that will totally not betray us, get betrayed anyway, shrug it off and kill the lord of all the things I forgot which wasn't due to how forgettable the fight is. How boring. Anyway, with that we are finally free to grab ourselves what we need. And we need a lot of things actually, but our first destination is the Yamato. Our journey has officially begun. If you want it, then you'll have to take it. But you already knew that. I had a feeling you'd say that. And what a journey it will be. A journey of many tears. God fucking damn it! Many friends. No, Mr. German! No! And many yawns. Jesus Christ, fighting dragons suck! We head to my favorite region in the game and finally get our hands on the Amato. But it was this moment here where I realized that our Virgil is just, well, a little bit dumb. But luckily, I knew a way how to fix that pretty quickly, but before we can do that, we have to get ourselves a new set of demon arms. We will have to kill one of the most powerful demons in hell, and not only that, we have to kill him so hard that nothing will be left of him besides some claws and boots. Luckily, we don't have to do any of that, we just straight up buy them from this merchant here. Yeah, I will have a double cheeseburger, large soda and one happy meal, please, with the boy's story and make sure of that. Ah yes, the power, I can feel it! With that we journey south where we can find our target to train our new devil arm on. Oh. 
Christ, I miss having no stamina. From killing this dragon, we get slightly smarter, but still not quite there yet. So I decided to head on r slash I am 14 and this is deep to really expand my knowledge about things. I can feel my mind exploding knowledge and smartness. But in reality, we just killed a bunch of dragons and made some new friends. And thus we become way smarter. Damn, if only I could use that strategy on my college finals. But before we continue, let me get this straight. I fight freaking dragons, ride around a phantom horse and roleplay as a Capcom character. Yep, that is something I do now. And I kill shit with my mind. Well, that just happened. Now we need to do this blue waifu's questline, as we need to get the ring this big guy sells, and also our clothes. God, Miyazaki really wants us to fuck dolls, huh? She sends us to Nokron, which is fine, because we have some business there as well. But not before we head south again to get our hands on the Mirage Blades. But our arsenal was not yet complete. This time we head east to find a giant turtle to speak to, and thus we finally get our Mirage Edge. But you could've used Dark Moon Blade, it would be way cooler! Shush! The reason I'm not using the Dark Moon Blade is because it is too slow and doesn't really bring any uses to our build. This version grants us an awesome AoE clear, which is exactly what we need. Each weapon needs to have a purpose. And talking about that, time to get ourselves a purpose for the Beowulf. Yes! <laughs> Foolishness, Ancha. Foolishness. Perry controls everything. Although naked but without devil arms collected, we had to knock on, talk to this furry fella, more sexy animal men, f sex, please, and head off to fight Rodan. Don't you know who I am, Rodan? I am Virgil. I am the Alpha and Omega. I am the fuck. Radan never was an issue for me, so we're quickly moving on. We go inside Nokron and oh my god, they released Virgil too! Pathetic. And now we we'll unlock yet another ability for Virgil, the Devil Trigger. But we still need to get our code. We progress the quest further and finally get our shit. Now we are complete and ready to hunt some demons. Ah yes, the most demonic entity of them all, a woman. Weak. Next, we need to go to the Atlas Plateau, where we will fight another very exciting enemy. This crap. <laughs> With Atlas Plateau unlocked, we head straight to the capital, where we can finally use our Devil Trigger. <laughs> Get lost. Be gone. Die. Good job, Steve. And while I'm having an absolute time of my life on the screen, I will explain why the capital is so important. Right now, we are at our full strength, but the capital is also a way to the chaos, chaos ending, exists. which is the one I need to 100% the game and the one I think Virgil would choose, as it simply gives him power to be the lord of chaos. So we fight the golden boy, That's win, that. fight one of my favorite bosses in the game, win again with no DT and deaths wasted. Well, what can I say? Uh, <clears throat> no, literally, what can I say? I, I ran out of Virgil lines to do. Please help. And by this time, I knew I had no motivation to continue. I mean, the gag was not that funny to begin with. It's dumb. All of this is dumb and not funny. What am I doing with my life? I traveled far and wide through the lands between in my pursuit of motivation. What a thrill. And eventually I found myself in Limgrave, where I have finally found it.
Now you die. I know what I'm capable of. Jackpot. There is no escape. Down you go. This is power. Farewell. You shall die. <sighs> Disappointing. Let's fucking do this shit. Now I'm motivated. You're just gonna stand there? Your nightmare begins here. Pathetic. So slow. Sluggish. My power show. Absolute. <laughs> Kneel before me. What a three. Where will we? Ah yes, the giant vent. Jesus, stop fucking talking. Giant vent is hands down my least favorite location in the game, with no new enemies or mini bosses. So I'm not even stopping once and just rushing through to the big boy. Me and Steve quickly tear him a new one, and he quickly dies of cringe. No. We go to a tanning salon, woman gets mad at me for using all of her money on the tanning, oh boo fucking who, and leaves us alone at last. Good riddance. You know what they say, fish want me, women fear me. <laughs> I want that as merch. But before going into the end game, there was one deed needed to be done. That attacks some dog shit, what? One boss that sets fear in every Elden Ring player. I don't know what to do. A boss that changed the sight. Oh my god! A boss so strong he could break a man. Now what's, I, 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 I don't see that move, I don't get that move at all. That move is uh, absolutely unbelievable. I'm talking of course about Dragon King and Soldier. Well, that was easy. Anyway, let's go fight Melania. When I first came to you, Melania, I was but a learner. Now I am the master. And while I'm destroying this liberal with facts and weapon arts, let me tell you about something. If you're expecting a death montage or some climactic fight, don't. Because, well, here's the gist of it. It was 5 in the morning, I was about to hit the sack and decided to do some practice runs for Melania. I had some jokes prepared, some funnies, but for them to work I would need some practice. I was already pretty good at her, but still needed to hit some parries, some cool dodges, so I decided to do some practice runs, which I didn't record, because there was absolutely no way I would beat this bitch on my first try, it is basically impossible. Your strength... extraordinary. I am Virgil, son of Spada. And I have never known that Nero is my son, because that was a long time ago. I did capture it on my shadow play, but the rest of the fight is lost forever. Luckily, I did capture the fact that I had my doppelganger out, so people would know that I have not cheated with phantoms or something. I probably should have had a fought, but the sheer thought of me beating this bitch first try was so compelling that I simply could not resist. Just look at how she dies, I can watch this all day, and that's for all the times you killed me on my first playthrough, and that is for what you did to my wholesome friend, German985. <laughs> Die! With that, we move to the Fury Land, where we Don't fight some Leader Kings, we share the man tier, get the charm we needed, and had to fight my least favorite boss in the game. I hate this guy so much, I decided to give it to him raw. No DT, no nothing. Just him and me, battle to the death. It seems you lacked some motivation, my friend. Let's see, do. Let, let's see, do. Let, let's see. Fuck it, just die. Too so slow. slow. Oh no, Virgil, what did you do? You burned a whole city? What? What? The, how? Just think how many people. People, did you kill for that? Well, whatever, you're still going to be redeemed at the end by getting the living shit beaten out of you by your son. Interesting. Oh my god, it's a... It's a sick Gideon of you! The all-knowing! There he is! He knows everything! Yeah. Well, if you really do know everything, do you know what second is? Second D's nuts! Kill him! We are almost at our peak of power, with only this old man standing before us, but luckily he was pathetic. Oh? Huh. So you want to fight me like a man? 
。哇，すごいぜ。行くぜ。Pathetic mortal! Don't you understand? To take me out, you must fight like a man, and you've got to prove that you can. Can't you see that useless course is breaking your back, and your life will end when you at all fuck? Oh, I will show you strength. それは異常な戦いでした。年内にもかかわらずよく動きました。しかし、結局あなたは全身すぐ土器を書いていました。いつかまって戦場で淡いでくることを願っています。Touching the golden light, Virgil felt like the power he seeked all along was in the palm of his hand. He only needed to stretch it further and dispatch one more enemy in front of him. Let's finally bury the golden light. You think you've got your second stage, you fool! It was my second stage, and I got you for three minutes, three minutes of playtime. Jackpot. With no Dante to stop us, Virgil finally made it and became the most powerful lord in the universe of the Elden Ring. Oh, don't you worry, I will be waiting for you. I got it. The power of the Elden Ring is finally mine. Thank you, Virgil. Hey, thank you for making it to the end of the video. I hope this was as fun for you as it was for me. It's the first time I'm doing this sort of a challenge run thing, so I hope it turned out fine. If you have some ideas on what I could have done differently, you can type them in the comments. Or if you have another idea on a different challenge run, feel free to leave them down below as well. The thing is. The platinum for the Souls games are so monotonous and not overall fun. It is very hard to make a good video on them. This game has it extra easy because you don't have to collect spells or farm XP for hours. You just have to beat the game two extra times and you are done, which is okay. But I really wanted to record a video on Elden Ring as it is just such a magnificent game. I can only hope they could make it entertaining for you with the same joke being repeated over and over again. And And while we're here, wanted to quickly thank for 4K subs. Thank you very much for coming, and stay tuned because I have some amazing projects prepared this year. Just you wait. And yeah, don't forget to stay motivated.